Hey guys, so uh, I just want to do a quick little video here checking out the OnePlus 2, uh, having a quick first look at the device now that I've unboxed it and I have time to have a proper look into the device to see what the main uh, features are here and uh, straight away you can see uh, the device actually looks quite a bit like uh, how the OnePlus One uh, looked on the Oxygen OS uh, platform. Yeah, I think it's actually running Oxygen OS here uh, on this uh, OnePlus 2. So uh, it's very stock uh, appearance here. You can see uh, it is uh, not uh, like the Cyanogen mod you might be used to. Uh, and everything seems to be quite similar to what you'd find on like a Nexus device. Uh, you can see that uh, we are coming with the new background here which is quite nice. Uh, we can have a look to see the other backgrounds as well on the device if there are any and uh, we can see in here OnePlus wallpapers wow so there is quite a few of them but they're just quite well hidden it seems uh, so you can see we do have some here and they're all coming with a name as well which is quite interesting so you can see we do have a lot of different colours here to satisfy a lot of people uh, so uh, quite some nice customization there uh, if we just go again into the settings we can see we can re rearrange things uh, from here as well which is uh, quite interesting maybe I need some new pages to take advantage of this uh, but I don't really have any set up at the moment but what I have set up is this kind of shelf feature uh, which you can access by swiping to the right. I think you can get access to your recent apps from this panel, uh, which is uh, quite interesting. Also, your contacts will come up there, it seems, as well. It seems that you can also uh, change like the image here that comes up. So uh, if you do have some things on your device, you can do that. Looks like you can add a widget as well, uh, which is interesting. I'm still actually getting used to these buttons uh, you can see they've done away with the other uh, buttons that we did have on the OnePlus One. We do have two kind of blue dashes now, uh, which do light up a bit like ZTE phones. Uh, so I think this one is the back one, and that is the multitasking. Obviously, the middle one is the uh, home button. Uh, so uh, we can come out of this and have a look in the settings to see the uh, settings here. You can see it's very uh, stock. Uh, close to Nexus devices really uh, I don't see any way to customize like the screen uh, profile that like you get on the Moto X Play like you can make it a bit more saturated but you can kind of control the adaptive display and all that uh, through that and if you look at the battery you can see uh, we do have a battery saver here which is interesting uh, also we have gestures such as the double tap to wait, does that work from the uh, screen off, screen on, doesn't seem to uh, but I'm guessing it works when the screen is off so yes you can see very nice and seamless there uh, also we do have some other things in there such as the draw O to open the camera so you can try that and into the camera we go so uh, as you can see this is a 13 megapixel camera here and uh, you see that uh, it's coming with a uh, very nice laser auto focusing uh, technology which maybe I do have something here to focus on and uh, you can see I do have a dusty controller so just take a shot here quite quick So you can see it seems to take shots quite quick here which is good and there seems to be quite a nice amount of detail there doesn't let me zoom in though which is weird but uh, nevertheless let's go back into the camera here 
so obviously we do get also video 4K I'm assuming there we go Ultra HD so you get 10 minutes it seems of 4K which is quite nice usually it's capped at 5 minutes and you can zoom when you are doing that or take shots or put the flash on so uh, if we have a look quickly here you can see we do get uh, panorama slow-mo turn that light off and some more settings as well such as the uh, save location shutter sound for those of you who want to take shots on the sly so it seems to be quite a few options in here which is good and I think if I come out of the uh, video here and go into like the photo you can see probably HDR beauty mode clear image as well whatever that is and probably some more in there photo resolution so quite a few uh, settings here I'll definitely be checking out the image quality in comparison to some other devices. Uh, so uh, other than that, uh, we can have a look here to see if we can see anything else uh, worth note. Because obviously it is quite a stock uh, experience here. So maybe we do have uh, like an equaliser here we can have a look at. So you can see we do have this equalizer and you can put things on max dialog, max bass, max treble, uh, movie mode, game mode. So this is powered by max audio so it should be quite interesting there. So now I should be able to unlock this nice device here. There you go, nice and seamless that's what I like to see so uh, no issues with the unlock there uh, but so far you know it looks looking quite nice here very stock uh, and we do have the dual sim ability I think you can actually take the back off as well unlike the uh, previous one so can you just have a quick look at that maybe you do have to have some nails I think to uh, get into it yeah that's good just scratch the device up that's exactly what people want to see I think we're gonna pause this for a sec so I managed to get in there eventually it is uh, very tightly uh, put into the device as you can see uh, but you can see you do get access to it and in here you can see we do have uh, some weird mechanism here which I've not seen before but that I'm guessing holds your uh, dual micro, uh, micro sim so obviously no expandable storage here uh, but we are getting 64 gigs internal with this particular variant so that should be quite good here let's just double check that somewhere in the settings storage there we go so you can see a lot of uh, storage there for me to play with and also the apps running you can see the RAM here so 2 gigs of RAM free 1.2 gigs used by the system and the apps using about 372 so that looks about 4 gigs if you ask me so uh, yeah just a quick little video here then checking out the OnePlus 2 first look uh, to me it looks like a quite a nice device here it's running very cool as well not noticing too much heat uh, so uh, if you've got any questions or want to see any comparisons do fire them through uh, but I will uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.